Okay, so I spent like 20 minutes trying to intro this video and I hate everything. So let's just get started with spaghetti squash salad. I hope you enjoy it. So this is a spaghetti squash. You can get them at the farmer's market or the grocery store or, you know, wherever sells produce. Um, I got this one from my mom. She gave it to me on Easter. I'm actually not really sure where she bought it because spaghetti squashes aren't in season right now. But um, I'm not going to ask questions because I love it. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So the first thing you want to do is cut your spaghetti squash in half. It's kind of difficult, so um, be prepared. A lot of people will just cook the whole thing, but I like to cut it in half and then season it. So you could, if you want to take the easy route, just stick it in a pan, the whole thing. Well, you would put some fork holes in it and then stick it in the oven, but I cut mine in half. So then it has this, you know, pulp and seed stuff in the middle. So I'm going to scrape that all out first. Okay, so now that I've scraped out all of the insides, I'm going to spray them with some olive oil. Um, by the way, if you don't have one of these, they're awesome. You just put olive oil in the bottom and then you can, um, you like pump it and it makes it into a spray. So instead of having to buy those sprays and you don't really know what's in it, you can make your own. It's really great and they're like $10. So then I'm going to put some salt on it. And pepper. Italian seasoning. And last, garlic. Now, we're just gonna flip them over. And then they just go right in the oven. Now you just let them cook in the oven for about 45 minutes. Once your 45 minutes is up, you can take the spaghetti squash out of the oven. Okay, so once it's done, you're gonna take it out of the pan. It should look something like this. Um, and you're going to take a fork and a bowl and you're going to scrape it like this and it should come off just like, and it looks kind of like noodles, hence the name spaghetti squash. So you're just going to scrape it like that into the bowl until it's all out. You're probably going to want to wait a little bit once you take it out of the oven for it to cool down since you have to kind of hold it with your hands. I actually um, let this one cool already. So that's why I'm able to hold it with my hands. I'm not, I don't have any superhuman strengths. So as you can see, I've scraped it mostly out of here. Um, it kind of fell apart in the process, but this is just a piece of it. Anyway, once that's done, you should have a decent amount. This is what I got all from that one squash. So, I, as you can see, it's, it's definitely enough. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands really quick. So while your spaghetti squash was cooking, you could um, take the time to chop up some vegetables to add to the salad. I got some broccoli, and I'm gonna put that in there. About half a zucchini. A whole tomato, whole onion, and then um, you can add this if you eat cheese or dairy, but I have some feta cheese to add to that too. 
So then just mix it all up. And then you can add, um, I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil. This, I don't really have a measurement for this. I just kind of put in as much as I see fit and depending on what size your squash was, you might want to use more or less than what I'm using. I probably used maybe a quarter cup right there. And then I'm also going to add the rest of this vinegar, which is maybe also a quarter cup. That was red wine vinegar. So now that I've sufficiently made a mess, I'm gonna add some pepper. My mom likes to leave salt out of things and let people salt their own, so you could do that if you want. But this is just for me, so I don't really care. Once you have it all mixed up, you have your salad and it's good to go. And it's pretty colorful too. When it's done, it'll look something like that. And you could just eat it up as much as you want. And uh, there's no grains or anything in it. So I hope you enjoy it. Hopefully this recipe gave you some ideas of how you can replace grains and wheat with other more nutritious vegetables. If you make this recipe and you like it, let me know in the comments. If you don't like it, let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. And if you're not going to leave a comment, then okay. <laughs> um, check out some other parts of my blog if you have some free time and thanks for watching.